Okay, milk, check. Bread, check. Paid traffic ticket. Well, pretty soon you'll be able to check that off your list, too, while you're shopping for groceries. Now, judges call those machines court kiosks, and they say no other city in the country is using that technology. Those kiosks will be tested at a handful of neighborhood HEBs. News 4 WOAI's Emily Bacham goes to municipal court to see how this thing works. Okay, you got a speeding ticket. It'll cost you 150 bucks and your time. You have to take off from work. Drive downtown, which could take 45 minutes. Pay for parking, go through security, and finally wait, wait, and wait some more to see the judge. But what if you could skip all that and pound the gavel when you're ready? How can I help you? I wish to pay my citation. Courtroom staff showed us how the video chat puts you face to face with the clerk. Okay, and what is your citation number? The clerk screens your case and brings in the judge. I'm going to go ahead and transfer to the judge. You're charged with speeding. What's your plea, first of all? Alfredo Tavera says his virtual courtroom is just as real as the one he's sitting in. Do you have any questions at all? Just more convenient. We have to use whatever technology is there, and we have to make it easier for our citizens. Presiding Judge John Bull says if you can use an ATM, you can work this machine. The whole key was to get you to talk to someone immediately at the court. The touch screen and the judge will walk you through the steps. Can you pay that today? Yes. Through credit card? Yes. All right. Oh, well, good luck to you. All right, and you will get the paperwork uh, in the mail. Municipal court plans to add more kiosks at grocery stores around town as interest grows. We kind of refer to ourselves as the people's court because I, the large percentage of what we deal with over here are pro se defendants. They're representing themselves. They don't have a lawyer representing them. And most of them want to be able to talk to the judge. Using a touch screen to maintain a human touch. Emily Bauckham, News 4 WOAI.